What's this? This is screen air. Look. Wow. Amazing. You can do many things with screen air. For example, uh, what's this? It's shooting gallery. The target can be shut down using air, like breath, pan, and even this cardboard box. Oh, a cardboard box. Well, can you shoot down that one? Sure. <laughs> Thanks. That's nothing. Well, what can I do with this? I don't know how to use it. Oh, you can enjoy spray art with this. That's awesome! You are a good painter! You can also be a ninja with screen air. Can I really be a ninja? Yes, you can blow the fire like a ninja in a movie. Do you want to try it? Yes, of course. But how? Just blow at the screen. Believe me. Okay, I'll try fire. Wow! Piece of cake, huh? Yes! I am a ninja! Please look this video. We can feel the wind, but we cannot see it. Have you ever imagined that you could, could see the air? Our product, Screen Air, will make imagination come true. Screen Air is a product that can detect the air, and it can be used to play video games. We name this product Screen Fills Air because it looks like the screen itself fills the air. It is called Screen Air for short. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are Team Screen Air from Japan. I'm Keita Yamazaki. I'm Takahiro Kaneko. I'm Sho Takishita. I'm Seiya Manabe. Please check out our new product. And uh, now, we would like to explain about the structure of screen air. Airflow detection grid, airflow simulation program, and 3D rendering engine. Uh, the key components of screen air. First, we would like to explain about the airflow detection grid. It is a core device of our product. Here, the screen uh, detects the airflow. And this screen is in lattice form, just airflow through the screen. There are many airflow sensors behind the screen. This picture shows the structure of screen air. Each sensor has a magnetic sensor, a magnet, and a plastic film. The magnet is attached to the plastic film and located in the rear section of the magnetic sensor. The distance between the sensor and the magnet depends on the air pressure. Thus, the intensity of magnetic field varies with this distance. The sensor detects changes in, uh, in the intensity of magnetic field. Uh, this picture is taken from the back side of screen air. There are approximately 800 sensors behind the screen, which are set two-dimensionally. This is how the screen detects the airflow. And next, we would like to explain about the airflow simulation. Screen air realizes three-dimensional airflow uh, on the pitch monitor. 
by using two-dimensional wind pressure data. We apply the flow simulation, namely lattice Boltzmann method, to the GPU. The GPU performs high-speed parallel operation, and the output is displayed in real time. OK, now I'll demonstrate the operation of screen air. As I said earlier, uh, the airflow is simulated in the virtual space on the monitor, together with the result provided by the physics engine and with the phase X. We simulate how an object moves because of the airflow. Finally, we describe the rendering engine. Screen Air graphically renders three-dimensional space uh, using DirectX 11.1 SDK. The user interface, 3D airflow, and behavior object operated by PhysX, uh, also rendered by DirectX. Now, we would like to suggest future commercial applications of Screen Air. The first application is an arcade game platform. There are many amusement arcades in Japan. Employing screen air in such arcade games will provide a large amount of revenue in the form of rentals and playing fees. We plan to release the respective MPI and DLL for video game consoles like Nintendo, PlayStation, and Xbox. Game creators can develop game using screen air and make substantial profits depending on the success of such games. Thus, users can play various games using our screen air technology. However, at present, we can exploit the full functionality of screen air only on the Windows platform. So, on the other platform like iOS, it's not fully functional. Therefore, we plan, uh, we, we plan to develop Screen Air with multi-platform capabilities. The second application is healthcare equipment. Can you recall the primary function test conducted during a medical checkup? It is a test that measures one respiratory strength and thus is an important of barometer of health. Screen air can be used in such tests owing to its ability to detect human users' breath. Okay, let's play Mr. Takiso. Okay, I try medical checker. Look. One more again. <laughs> OK, good job. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Thus, with our technology, the test would be like an attractive video game. OK. Look. Like this, users shoot down the target using breath. I'm tired, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's do three steps. Oh. The third application is digital signage. Look at this picture. <laughs> Look at this picture. Oh, you can see the signboard here. Digital signage is digital one. We can experience a new approach to diesel signage by adapting our screen air technology. For example, we would like to su uh, propose an advertising method involving diesel coupon signage. Screen air console will be set up at street corners and stations. Users can play shooting game, uh, correct, uh, correct coupon reflecting their squad and save the coupon on the smartphones. Okay, let me recap today's presentation. 
Okay. It's, uh, finished? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.